Assalamualaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on simplifying Java for OOP1 students of King Faisal University and for others who want to learn Java. This is part 21 in this series and is entitled Interface in Java. Interface is a template consisting of abstract methods that the class implements. Some of the characteristics of an interface are it is not a class. It cannot be instantiated. A class does not extend it but implements it. It contains abstract methods that are defined in a class that implements it. A class that implements it must define all the methods or declare itself abstract too. And lastly, a class can implement one or many interfaces. Here is an example construct of an interface. Notice that after the word public is not class but interface. Notice also that the three methods are abstract which means that their content and definition will be in the class that implements it. Let's look at activity number 41. We will create a Java project called Using Interface that implements an interface called Student that has two void methods, namely Student and Take Exam. We will override the two methods by displaying as a student I study and as a student I take exam for study and take exam methods respectively. At the end, we will instantiate the using interface class and call both methods. We can say that there is no input in this uh, activity. In the process, we're going to create an interface called student with two abstract methods. Then we are going to have that class that implements the student interface and we're going to override the two methods study and take exam. Finally, in the main method, we're going to instantiate the class and we're going to call the two methods. So our output will be the messages from the two methods. So we'll call this project using interface. To create an interface, right-click the package name, click new, and select Java interface. Then type student. That is the name of our interface. Similarly, the construct is already given. So all we have to do is to write the two abstract methods public void study semicolon and public void take exam semicolon then we can go back to using interface where we're going to implement student this time let's override uh, let's look at the error it says that uh, you have to override the abstract method take exam. So let's override the methods public void. Let's start with study. Study. It will simply print system that out that print line. As a student. I study. I'll simply copy this one to override the second method. Uh, remember that all the methods, all the abstract methods must be defined. Otherwise, you have to declare the class as abstract. That's why there's still an error here. So the second one is take exam. And it says, as a student, I take exam. Now you don't see any other red errors. So this time, let's instantiate it. Uh, the class is using interface. Let's call it Hassan. It's equal to new using interface. So now if I type Hassan, our object, we will be able to see 
the two methods study and take exam now we can run our project there's our output as a student I study and as a student I take exam this time let's try to review the characteristics of an interface let's go back to the student interface it says that it's not a class yeah it's not a class it cannot be instantiated let's go back to using interface and try to type student uh, Ahmed is equal to new student now this is an error because student is abstract and cannot be instantiated so it cannot be instantiated next a class does not extend it but implements it correct it's implemented it contains abstract methods that are defined in the class that implements it correct the methods are here are study and take exam a class that implements it must define all the methods or declare it self abstract to that's why we have here study and take exam these are the two and only two uh, methods abstract methods from student interface and the last is that a class can implement one or many interfaces now to show that we have to go to activity number 42 so for activity number 42 we will modify the project using interface by implementing a second interface called employee that has two void methods as work and receive salary we will override the two methods by displaying as an employee I work and as an employee I receive salary for work and receive salary methods respectively. At the end we will call also the two methods from employee interface. So again to create an interface you have to right click the package new Java interface. We'll call it this time employee. The construct is given we're going to uh, create two methods, abstract methods uh, for work and receive salary. And it should be void. Now, these two methods. Uh, sorry, this uh, interface we're going to implement also in the using interface class. So that is employee. So they were only separated by comma. There's an error because we have not yet overridden uh, the two methods from the employee interface. So I'll just copy this. The first one is work. Uh, this time as an employee. I work and the other one is receive salary see there's no more error and the message is as an employee I receive salary And in our object, we have to call also those methods. Hassan, that now you can see there is receive salary, study, take exam, and work from the two interfaces. So now we need work and receive salary. That's it. Now we can run it. There you have it. It's one instantiation that implements two interfaces student and employee that's why you can see here as a student I study as a student I take exam from the student interface and as an employee I work and as an employee I receive salary from the employee interface well brilliant we just implemented an interface in Java thank you for taking the time to watch this video Masalama.